Hi, I'm Jess Coverley, and one of the issues I see as a physiotherapist fairly often is people that are convinced they have a hamstring injury or a hamstring tear or a strain. But something that you really have to look out for is whether there may be some nerve involvement, whether this may be some sciatica that's coming from the back or possibly from the piriformis, which is a muscle within the bum. So a really easy, quick test to kind of try and differentiate between the two is called a slump test. And the slump test is a way to stretch the nerves and to see whether the nerve complains. Because if it does when it's being stretched, you're pretty sure that it's a nerve that's causing the problem and not, not the muscle itself. So if I have someone come to see me and they're complaining of pain in the back of the leg here, okay, and it comes after um, a, quite a traumatic sport or a run or a sprint, I might assume that it is a hamstring injury and if there is a tear there there will be swelling there will be a bit of bruising that bruising might be further down the leg if it didn't seem to have come after a specific injury or it's come on gradually or it's come on after a pain in the back but there isn't always pain in the back then I might think it's a sciatic problem even though it can feel really like your muscle okay Sometimes the ache will travel or move around, which may make you think it's more like a nerve problem. But a quick, to easy test to do is to sit back on a table or a chair, okay? Sit nice and tall. And what you're going to do is just see what the good leg feels like. So we're going to imagine that my bad leg is my left one. We're going to straighten out the good leg. And let's just see how that feels, straighten it out keeping my back nice and tall, and I may just feel a bit of a stretch. And then I'm gonna slump, and I want you to just slump down, drop your chin, really poor posture, and straighten that good leg out again. And it shouldn't really feel a lot different, okay? It may feel a bit easier, okay? Now, I'm gonna sit back up, I'm gonna test the bad leg, stretch it out. Now you may feel a bit of discomfort, a bit of pain there, but just see how that feels. And then let's try it with the slump. Tuck your chin, drop down, and now straighten that leg out. And if that pain is a lot worse or it feels a lot tighter, and then when I pull my foot up, it's even worse, you can be pretty certain that this is a sciatic nerve or a nerve problem, more likely to be coming down the back, okay, rather than the hamstring. Now, if I come back up again, that should ease off slightly in the back of my leg. Okay, and then when I stretch the nerve, because remember the nerves, they come from the top of the head all the way down. There's a complete link there. So it should release it off, and then you should feel it come back on as you stretch. So that's a great little test to do, to see whether it's your hamstring or your nerve that's causing the problem. Now the complication comes when there's a bit of both, because a traumatic injury could often overstretch a nerve and cause some damage around the nerve. But that may be something, if you're very not sure about it, is to now seek the advice of a good physiotherapist or medical practitioner to take a look at you. You can find me here on YouTube, okay? So please subscribe. Or you can find me on Instagram where I put loads of extra rehab exercises and some hamstring work if you want to know how to rehab after any of these injuries. If you've got any questions for me, just drop them below. Thank you.